Are you wondering how early you can take a pregnancy test? You'd really just love to find out if you're pregnant now or not. But if it's too early, it's not really going to be worth it because you're going to get a negative anyway. So how long do you need to wait to be able to take a pregnancy test and hopefully get that big fat positive? Hi, I'm Vicky from Oh My Mama Body. I really love helping you to understand your body and your symptoms so that you feel really clear and confident. And if you're new to my channel, a really warm welcome here. Thanks so much for finding and watching my video. And please do subscribe to my channel for even more really great help, tips and support. So you really would just love to take that pregnancy test right now, but perhaps you know, you're only a few days past ovulation, if you've even been tracking your ovulation. So when can you test? Well, to be honest, I'd firstly recommend that you go by your bodily symptoms. Have you been symptom spotting already? What kind of symptoms have you been experiencing? Do share them below in the comments. What kind of really early pregnancy symptoms have you been experiencing? Now I talk about my personal 12 really early symptoms. There's a video coming up here, a link. You can go back and watch that after the end of this video. Now I had seven pregnancies and I really am in tune with my body. I just knew I was pregnant before any test showed positive. And I talk about all of those 12 symptoms in detail in that other video. So I really recommend that before you start spending loads of money on pregnancy tests and just getting negatives, because it can get really obsessive, I know that. Listen more to your body. Go into your body, listen to the symptoms and the signs that she's telling you. Now, we are all different and then we all experience all different kinds of symptoms. So don't expect that you're gonna get every single one that everybody else is talking about. Now, some of us experience really early that connection when conception happens, you know, a whole load of energy expands inside of our body when conception happens. And some women already feel that feeling of being a mother, that very, very maternal feeling comes over them. Others notice that feeling of implantation happening. And it's like a little digging, a little sharp pain perhaps on one side. And then there's some really early cramping associated with that that's way before any kind of PMS cramping. So there's loads that you can go into and find out about on those other videos of mine. I keep putting them over the top here and also in the video description below, there are arrows here, just open up the arrows and you'll get a drop down section with loads of information to help you. So I have got a lot there to help you understand what's going on in your body right now and if you are pregnant or not. So let's go back to that pregnancy test, right? When can you take that test? Mm. Well, I know from so many women chatting with me and being in my Mama Meets a Midwife group on Facebook, that the earliest that someone has got a positive pregnancy test is at eight days past ovulation. So that's called 8DPO, if you're not familiar with that. And it also depends on how you are tracking your ovulation as well. If you're using an app, it might not be accurate. It might not be accurate about the day you're actually ovulating because there's a bit of an art and a science around when you ovulate. It depends on your cervical mucus and your body temperature. You might feel that cramping feeling and to really be able to pinpoint that exact moment of ovulation is quite hard. So you need to give it a bit of a window. And then you have to take into account that your egg needs time to travel down your fallopian tube for the sperm to beat the egg, for everything to happen, and then for implantation to happen. Because only after implantation do the pregnancy hormones really connect with your body and then expand in your body, which is what you need for your pregnancy test to show positive. So eight days past ovulation is really quite early. Now, I know it's hard to wait, but I really recommend at least waiting till 10 days past when you think you ovulated, because then at least you've counted enough days from ovulation for the egg to travel down, for implantation to happen, plus another four to five days for then your pregnancy hormones to grow and increase so that when you 
go and pee on that stick that you've got enough hormones in that pee to give you that positive result. Now you can take early detector tests. They can trace basically a lower amount of those hormones in your urine. For a general test, you really do need to make sure that you are testing around the point of 10 to 12 days past ovulation. Now, that may mean a missed period for you. It may not mean a missed period for you because all of us have different cycle lengths as well. So as you can hear, it's very different depending on your cycle and who you are. Now, if you ever do want to come and get more information and have a chat with me, I'm really here to help you. I do offer 20 minute calls. There's a link coming up here where you can go ahead and book your call or down below in the description. I'd like to happily talk with you through those symptoms that you're experiencing because it really helps to just then chat one-to-one -one as well. So do go ahead and book that call if that's something that you feel you could really do with right now. And I really look forward to helping you. I hope this video has helped you some more to understand what's going on in your body right now. And do go ahead and check out my other videos where I explain the symptoms really in detail so that you can understand things better.